today's question is about when people die and they sometimes have purple streaks that you can see under their skin so often on their hands if they're having a viewing the relatives might see that mm -hmm. um, so Michelle's asked the question she wants to know what's that about and what causes it and what do you do about it question was from Michelle. Hi Michelle. Hi Michelle and Michelle asked the question now it sounds like Michelle's seen this mm. uh, Michelle asked the question about when someone dies and you see purple streaks under the skin mm. or on the skin mm -hmm. um, she mentions on the hands, on the hands okay. yeah and yeah. what causes that and um, what do you um, do about it? It sounds like tissue gas if it's purple and it's streaky and it usually happens or well, it can happen anywhere on the body and it tends to start in the neck area, in the arms, in the hands. Um, and it's a buildup of bacteria under the tissues. And it's turning, obviously, the blood is starting to decompose. And there's gas building up. So we're going through them stages of um, decomposition. Uh, and it causes crepitation. So what that is and what that means is when you'll see it, what it looks like, it looks like a road map. It looks ah. like a road map. You'll get all these purpley bl deep dark blue streaks in the arms and you think you were looking at a road map right. uh, with blue lines all over that's what it looks like and it, you can smell it you can also smell it it's really bad because of the decomposition of oh. the blood and it smells bad and we've got this crepitation which is basically the gas and when you press and rub it pops it goes oh, pop, like pop, pop, bubble pop. wrap. Yeah, because it's the gas that you're pushing through the tissues and through the veins. And when we get somebody with um, tissue gas, it's really important to, um, if they're not being embalmed and there's, um, you know, we, we're holding them for a day or two before the service, we have to cover the aspirate, we have to aspirate, and we have to treat them instantly because they're at that far end of starting to decompose fast and the bacteria can spread through in the fridge right if we don't uh, stop it um and it go, can go on to the next deceased so we've got to be really careful with tissue gas and treat it straight away wow so. and why would someone present with tissue gas why what causes it um like rather than like this person has it that person doesn't why uh, it could be that they weren't found for a while and started to decompose. So it's a time thing. It is a time thing. And also it depends if there would be next to another body in a, another mortuary, um, uh, you know. So say if someone's been at uh, like a medical facility yeah, or if they that, died in hospital, they're in the hospital mortuary. Yeah, or, there could be bacteria around right. in that, that cold storage room that gets in and that starts it off straight away. So if another body next to it has it, the bacteria is rampant, it'll start the tissue gas off. So does it happen eventually to everyone? Uh, eventually basically it's because it's part of your normal decomposition, decomposition yeah. it's filling up with the gas and yeah. the bloat and then everything yeah and the smell but the smell's really bad it's a blood that decomposed <sighs> underneath i so. couldn't do your job <laughs> i don't yeah. know this woman deserves a medal she deserves more money i have a mask on all day and everything yeah, you still so. smell it yeah i do i do yeah but I do have a lot of a lot of PPE on all the time, so kind of disguise. And I think after years of doing it, you I don't know. You must get used to it. You must get used to some of the smells because sometimes it's so overpowering. I have to walk out and then go back in. And but um, other times I can put up with the smell. So just thinking about that question, if somebody was to see that in a viewing, right? If it hasn't been cosmetized over the yeah. top. Um, does that also mean the rest of them, like, how how would someone be in a viewing where you would see that and they're not so decomposed that you could still have a viewing? Yeah, well, tissue gas starts around in the neck and the arms and the hands areas, so it hasn't spread anywhere else. If it's spread to the face, you will be cosmetizing. Uh, if you embalm in the body, you will get rid of a lot of that discoloration and smell. Because the blood so, will be gone. Yeah, so you're pushing out the blood. Um, but if you're just doing a cavity aspirate, you can cover it with uh, makeup and then the hands are the same you can cover it with makeup but sometimes if it's just on the hands it hasn't started right to get right through the body so right. but how would you mask the smell is i guess what my question is if it's just in the hands you'll not really smell it right it's once it starts to it what's it's once it's in a lot of areas and it's it's massive so if it's just a little bit in the hands the smell can't get out that much yep. once it's traveled 
everywhere okay. around the arms and the neck and the face that and the torso that the smell becomes okay. quite hmm. pungent and we'd advise the family that look the person has gone to a stage of decomposition that's going to rapidly decompose and we need to do this this and this and you know we give the family's choice so whether they want the person embalmed or not they might just want them cremated yeah, straight away yeah you know it's their choice although happy just have a cavity aspirate and no you know in no viewing or anything like that so it depends what work we do uh, as to what's going on with the viewing and, and the, the service, family you know and, mm. um but yes that's that's what it it is it's normally what we call tissue gas and it starts off small but it can rapidly go through the body very mm. rapidly very fast thanks for the question yes good question thank you all right guys so, till yes. next time yes to to uh, Stay safe and take care is what I wanted to say, but it just wouldn't come out. Why it wouldn't, wouldn't it come, come out? out? No. I don't know. <laughs> it's like <clears throat> stuck in my throat. What have you been breathing in today? Um, don't want to know. <laughs> we do want to know. <laughs> actually, no, we don't want to know. No, nothing. There was actually, nothing there. there was nothing to do at work. That was awful. Yeah. Yeah. It was all very... Uh, Those poor people. Yeah. You take good care of them. No, she does. Yeah. Yeah. No, no, it's uh no, I just had a little tickle in my throat and I just couldn't speak properly. Oh, that's <sighs> all right then. Yeah. Okay, till next time. Take care. See ya. Bye. See you later. Seal. Hit. Action.